Welcome to PGCast, a production of HashRocket. My name is Jack Christensen. Our topic for this episode is generating JSON in Postgres directly from relational data. Generating JSON in PostgreSQL can be several times faster than copying the relational data to the application and then generating the JSON. This can be especially useful for APIs that return JSON. Our example domain will be a simple bookmarking platform. We'll start by creating a users table. Now let's add a few users. Now, Postgres has a row to JSON function. So all we have to do is just call that function on the row object, and we'll get it back converted to JSON. This works, but there's a problem. It returns all columns in the table. We would never want to expose a user's password digest. We could try using a row constructor. This works, except the generic row type loses the column names. Our solution is actually to use a subquery to get the columns we need, and then to use row to JSON on the result of that subquery. For what it's worth, another solution is to create a composite type and cast the row to that type. However, the subquery approach has worked better for me. Now let's look at how to create JSON documents with nested values. We'll start by creating a bookmarks table. And we'll add some bookmarks. And let's see what we can do to get a user and all their bookmarks. So if we look here, the only difference is inside the first subquery, we now have another subquery that uses the JSON ag function. JSON ag aggregates JSON objects into an array. If we wanted to get all the users and all their bookmarks, all we'd have to do is remove the where clause that says ID equals one and add JSON ag to the outermost query. It can be a little awkward to work with, especially at first, but generating JSON in PostgreSQL is a helpful feature when you need more performance. Thanks for watching.